Hello friends, in today's class, we will be solving numericals on Fermi level and Fermi level direct distribution. These are the important questions for your university exams. Now, the first question says, Fermi energy for silver is 5.5 electron volt. Find out the energy for which the probability of occupancy at 300 Kelvin is 0 0.9. So let's first note down the given data. The Fermi energy is given as 5.5 electron volts. Now, the most important point and the point where most of the mistake happens is the conversion. Always remember your KT, you always will be having a term KT in such type of numericals which is going to give you a value in joules. Always remember your K is Boltzmann constant and temperature is in Kelvin. If you multiply them, the value that you will get by default will be in joules. And usually the Fermi level energy will be given in electron volts. So whenever you want to convert joules to electron volt, always make sure to divide it with E that is the charge of electron. If you are able to do this, then there would be no problem in solving the numericals. Now, this is the Fermi level. I'll mark this as EF. The probability of occupancy is 0 0.9. I can call this as F of E. And the temperature is 300 Kelvin. So the very first step is finding KT in terms of electron volt. So I can say that. KT is nothing but as 300 into Boltzmann constant's value that is 1.38 into 10 to the power minus 23. Now I will be dividing this by E which is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 to get the value in electron volt. On solving the value comes out to be 0.026 electron volt. I will be using this value in my problem. Now, let's recall the formula for probability of occupancy or the Fermi level direct distribution function. It says F of E is 1 upon 1 plus E to the power E minus EF the whole over KT. We are given with Fe, we are given with Ef, we have already found out Kt. The only value left to be found is E. Now, how to solve this? We will be just plugging in the values. So, it becomes 0 0.9 equals 1 upon 1 plus E raised to, let's call this value as E minus 5.5 divided by 0 0.026. Now, this is what the equation is. Now, you need to solve this equation to get a result. So, on solving this, you will get 1 plus E raised to E minus 5.5 divided by 0 0.026 equals to 1 upon 0 0.9, which is nothing but as 1.11. I have just taken the reciprocal of it to get the denominator up. Now on solving this I can get the value as e raised to e minus 5.5 divided by 0 0.026 is nothing but as 0 0.11. This comes if you subtract 1 from 1.11. Now you just need to take ln on both the sides. So if you take ln on both the sides you will get e minus 5.5 divided by 0 0.026 is nothing but as ln of 0 0.11. This is nothing but as minus 2.207. On solving further, you will get E minus 0 0.55 is nothing but as 0 0.026 into minus 2.207. On solving, you will get the value of E as 5.44 electron volts. This is the energy needed. 
So this is the energy for which the probability is 0.9 or 90%. This question had appeared in December 2014 for 3 marks. The second question says Fermi level in K which is potassium is 2.1 electron volt. So this is the value of EF. What are the energies for which the probabilities of occupancy at 300 Kelvin, so the temperature here is 300 Kelvin, are 0 0.99 and 0 0.01. So this is you can say your F E1 and this is your F E2. So basically you want to find two energies having probability 0 0.99 and 0 0.01. Now, if you notice, most of the questions in exams are asked for 300 Kelvin. And of course, as I told you, the very first step of solving such problems is solving for the value of kT and converting it to electron volt. In previous question also, we did the same. So, it becomes very easy for us to use this value in the sum and then solve the value easily. So, we'll be doing the same thing again. kT is nothing but as 1.38 times 10 to the power minus 23 times 300 I would be dividing this with 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 to get value in electron volt. Now it's important to know that if you are using 991 ES calculator you have the constants of K and E directly on your system directly on your calculator. If you can use that value it is well and fine or else you can show this step as a calculation. If you solve this of course you are going to get value as 0 0.026 electron volt. Let's recall the formula for probability distribution that is f of e is nothing but as 1 upon 1 plus e raised to e minus ef upon kt. Now, we will be doing this for two different values of probability that is 0 0.99 and 0 0.01. So, I would be calling energy as E1 for 0 0.99 probability and E2 for 0 0.01 probability. So, this becomes 0 0.99 equals to 1 upon 1 plus E raised to E1 minus 2.1 divided by 0 0.026. Now, the very first step in solving this question is now taking the reciprocal. So, if you take the reciprocal, it becomes as 1 plus E raised to E1 minus 2.1 divided by 0 0.026 equals 1 upon 0 0.99. Now, you take 1 on this side and subtract it. So, you would be getting value as E raised to E1 minus 2.1 divided by 0 0.026 is equal to minus 4.605. This is the final value that you get. Now, of course, taking ln on both the sides, you will get E1 minus 2.1 divided by 0 0.026 equals to ln of minus 4.605. If you solve this further, you will get the value as E1 minus 2.1 is equal to minus 0 0.1197. Therefore, the value of E1 is 1.98 electron volt. Similarly, we will be doing for the second case which says the probability now is 0 0.01. So, we will be plugging the values as 0 0.01 is equal to 1 upon 1 plus e raised to e2 minus 2.1 divided by 0 0.026. Again taking the reciprocal, we will be having 1 plus e raised to e2 minus 2.1 divided by 0 0.026 is nothing but as 1 upon 0 0.01. So, I will get e raised to e2 minus 2.1 divided by 0 0.026 is nothing but as 1 upon 0 0.01 is nothing but as 100 and if you subtract 1 
you will get 99. Again, taking ln on both the sides, you will get E2 minus 2.1 divided by 0 0.026 is nothing but as ln of 99. The value now is E2 minus 2.1 divided by 0 0.026 ln99 comes to be 4.595 therefore on solving you'll get the value of e2 as 0 0.1194 electron volt so this is the energy level for which the probability is 0 0.01 now well this question was simple it was just to plug in the values and find out the answer but there's more to it. If you see, almost one, which is 0.99% probability, is where the energy level comes to be 1.98, which is almost near to the Fermi level. And if you see, the energy level almost zero is where the probability of the finding electron is 0.01. This is what the significance of Fermi level is. Now, moving to the next question. Now, this question says, in an n-type semiconductor, the Fermi level lies 0.4 eV below the conduction band. If the concentration of the donor atom is doubled, I am doubling the concentration of the donor atom. Find out the new position of the Fermi level with respect to the condition band. Now, we know that the value 0.4 is below the conduction band for the Fermi level. So I can say that EC minus EF is 0.4 because the Fermi level lies 0.4 EV below the conduction band. So I can make this statement as EC minus EF is equal to 0.4 electron volt. Now, since temperature is not given, we'll be assuming temperature as 300 Kelvin. That is a general assumption. And assuming temperature as 300 Kelvin. Now we can first find out Kt which is nothing but as 1.38 10 to the power minus 23 times 300 gets divided by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 to get the value of Kt as 0 0.026 electron volt. Now we are given value of this. We need to find out the new position of the Fermi level. Now, I can use this formula. Ne is equals to N into E raised to minus EC minus EF divided by Kt. We had used this formula for derivation of EF is equals to EC plus EV by 2 in intrinsic semiconductor. This is the formula for the number of electrons in the conduction band. Now, we need to find that what is the new Fermi level when the concentration of the donor atom is doubled. So, I can say that 2Ne is equal to N into E raised to power minus EC minus, let's call this level as X divided by kt. Let's say suppose this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. Now if you divide equation 1 with 2 you will get 2 is equal to e the whole raised to x minus ec x minus ec minus ec minus ef this is my equation 3. Now, we know the value of kt. You know the value of kt. You can directly put the value of kt here and solve this equation. So, you will get the value as ec minus x is equal to 0 0.38198 electron volt. So we can say that the Fermi level will be shifted towards the conduction band by 0 0.38 electron volts. Now, 
It's important to know that this question was asked in May 13 for 5 marks. As you can see, the question was very easy and fetching 5 marks was pretty easy. Now, let's switch to the next question. What is the probability of electron being thermally excited to conduction band in silicon at 20 degrees centigrade? Now, here you can see the temperature is 20 degrees centigrade. You need to first convert this into Kelvin. You all know that the conversion formula is E plus 273 is nothing but as temperature in Kelvin. So here the temperature in Kelvin becomes equals 20 plus 273 which is nothing but as 293. Now we need to find the probability which means we need to find F of E of an electron thermally excited to a conduction band in silicon with the band energy gap as 1.12 electron volt. Do remember this is not the Fermi level, this is the band energy gap. The most important point where students made a huge mistake was taking this value as Fermi level but this wasn't the Fermi level. This is the band gap energy as it clearly says. Now as you can also see it is talking about pure silicon. It means we are talking about an intrinsic semiconductor. So if the semiconductor is intrinsic, we all know that EC minus EV is equals to EG by 2. We can say this value is 1.112 divided by 2 which is nothing but a 0.56 electron volt. The most important step is this which you need to make a note of. Now the value is obtained as 0.56 electron volt. Now the question is simple. Now let's recall the formula as f of e is nothing but as 1 upon 1 plus e raised to ec minus ev divided by kt for an intrinsic semiconductor. Now plugging in the values we'll get f of e is nothing but as 1 upon 1 plus e raised to now here you have the value of ec minus ev directly as 0 0.56 so i'll be value 0 0.56 and kt now you need to find out kt explicitly here so kt here becomes equal to 1.38 into 10 to the power minus 19 into 293 of course you need to divide this with 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 as well now if you put this value here you'll get the value as now you need to find out the value for kt kt is nothing but as 293 into 1.38 into 10 to the power minus 23 divided by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. Now if you put in the value here finally you'll get the value of f of e as 2.37 into 10 to the power minus 10. Do remember it does not have any units because this is just the probability and this solves this question as well. It was asked for 3 marks. Now as you can see the numericals on Fermi level and Fermi direct distributions are very simple and they fetch you a lot of marks. So do pay attention there are only two types of the questions that are asked that we have covered in the class. Thank you.